Hey, look here. This COVID-19 is, is so real, it's devastating. We all been quarantined. My wife, we just picked her up out of the hospital yesterday. It was devastating watching her struggle for her breath for, for uh, over three days. Hadn't got it out of time. She wouldn't be here today. She's in the room. I just finished uh, giving her a shower and uh, making sure that she she's, uh, been, you know, just it's devastating to even explain this. I just want to show some of the stuff that my family members, my uncle, his name is Son. Uh, he's been standing up, my whole family, my sisters. He sent all these sanitized stuff, my cousin Nikki, my aunties, Aunt Bay, Pony, uh, Sheriff. Crystal. Crystal. Uh, everybody. Everybody. The, our church members, they've been dropping food off. Our neighbor. I always tell you, police officers are not bad. I was in law enforcement years ago. Police officer Mike across the street been cutting our yard, keeping our house groomed for us while we go through this trial and tribulations. Uh, my sister from my uncle's son, they just came and brought all of this food, everything. I mean, we we have enough store of food. Yeah. Uh, and. I just want to tell everybody, <clears throat> if you don't understand something, forget about what you used to have a problem with because that was just a misunderstanding. Because life is so short, it, it's not edible. You can't eat it and go to the next snack. So look at all of this and listen to what, what I'm telling you guys. Uh, my mother-in-law, my in-laws, my sisters, brothers, cousins, everybody, the church member, the priest, our, our pastor, our, our, our father, uh, Father Wenzel, Miss Heidi, uh, all of the neighbors, Donnie Ash, so many people, uh, people from uh, friends of my wife, co-workers, Ken from Atlanta, everybody been checking on us saying, what can we do to help save Melinda and keep y'all intact and what y'all need financially food whatever you guys need everybody been standing up for us the jones family our daughters and, and children have been relentlessly crying trying to figure out how we're going to save their mother well show a picture of her in the room That's her right there. If you would have saw her a few days ago, you would have thought this is the end. We had sleepless nights. She was in the ICU for, for approximately 10 days. One of the patients next to her passed. She seen the angel pass by. She even took a walk with God and he told her to go back. So this thing is real. This is not an illusion. Take care of yourself which will allow others to be taken care of. If you don't take care of you, you can't take care of them. Yes, people are strangers to you, but life is not a stranger to God. So understand that God respect life. And when you disrespect God's life, then God definitely going to disrespect yours. So take care of yourself, which is going to allow you to take care of the next person by your side. This disease does not discriminate. It doesn't have an age factor, color, gender. It's on the attack. So do what you need to do. Stay safe. Plead the blood of Jesus on yourself and your family and hope that all you guys have a family like ours. I've been with my wife 29 years. That's a long time to have lost for a disease that we still don't understand. But we do know that they're giving us some answers. So try to hold to those answers and live by them. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Don't cough over everyone. You don't feel good, avoid people. God bless you all. 
bless my family on both sides, my wife and my immediate family, which make us a one family. And my children, that are all adults, and my grandchildren. And thank the Lord Jesus Christ for allowing us to have my wife home today and have such an abundance of family members and friends and church behind us and neighbors. God bless y'all. Thank you. Amen.